One of my favorite amp modelers that I ever bought was the Pod HD Pro. I was pretty new to the amp modeling world and it seemed like a really good value. And while there were many shortcomings, one of the things that ended up being a major disappointment for myself and many others was the lack of ability to load in third-party impulse responses or cabinet simulations. The stock cabinets in the Line 6 gear and really specifically with the Pod HD series are notoriously, well, bad. But the amp simulation and the effects are really good. And if you look in forums, a lot of people that have owned them will suggest buying a cab IR loader like this one that we have here from Moore, the Cab X2, to salvage the Pod HD. The Cab X2 is a high quality stereo IR loading cabinet simulation pedal that includes 14 user preset slots that can store two different cabinet simulation settings each. There's 11 included stock cabinet simulation files as well as support for loading third party impulse response files. You also have dual input, so not only can you run this pedal stereo with a mono input, but you can run it completely independently left and right if you want to do it that way as well. And there's also an eighth inch headphone output so you can jam quietly so you don't bother your wife or your kids or your mom or whoever might be bothered with your incessant wiggly wheeze. So can a pedal like this save some of your old gear that might be suffering from bad cabinet simulation? We're gonna find out. But first we need to go over to my computer so I can show you some of the different features and how to load your own cab IRs using the software. Oh yeah, we need to take it out of the box too. Okay, let's go hook it up. All right guys, what's up? We have the Cab X2 pedal software opened up here. We have it in nighttime mode also because you can switch in between daytime and nighttime mode and I just prefer to use nighttime mode. It's easier on the eyes. So you can see that I've already loaded up one of my Cab IRs here and you can click this little download tab and it will bring up the dialogue and you can select the Cab IR that you would like to load up here. Uh, these are some of the other Cab IRs that are included with this. You have your 14 preset slots up here that you can save and these are the cabinets that you have to choose from. You have a 1x12, a few 2x12s, a 4x10, a few different 4x12s. Uh, and then you have some bass cabinets also, so if you're using this stereo mode and you're using a guitar and a bass, you have some bass IRs available to you stock. I have the preamp pedal running through the Cab X2 pedal, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> If you missed my video on the Preamp X2 pedal, I will link that down in the description, but I am using a Fortin Meshuggah amplifier. Someone was nice enough to capture and upload to the Moore Studio app. Let's go to preset slot two. Uh, maybe we want the stock rectifier cab in here. You can select this drop down and you can decide that you want that cabinet in here. This is what it sounds like. It's kind of boomy there. Let's uh, cut that low end out a little bit. And uh, we have a high cut on here. Let's just turn that high cut off. So it has a lot more low end than the cab IR I loaded up, but we can always blend those together and I will show you how to do that here in just a second. But once we have something we like here, you can just go up and hit the disc to save that. And now we can scroll between the two different Mesa cabs. Okay, so that's how you get your own cab IRs on the pedal if you wanna use something different than the included stock cabinet impulse responses. Let's hook this up to the Pod HD and see what we can do with it. All right, so I dug out my old Pod HD here and we are using the Cab X2 in stereo mode. One of the really cool features about this pedal is you can actually run it in stereo so you can have independent IRs on both your left and your right channel. And that's the way we have it hooked up here. We have the left output of the Pod HD going into the left input of the X2 and then directly out into my audio interface there and same thing with the right channel. Here's the signal chain we have set up inside the Pod HD Pro. We have a noise gate up front. We have a tube screamer boosting the amp and then we're using the Bomber Uber which is a Bogner Uber shawl. I'll show you all of the settings here. You can see all of the settings, you know, if you're curious on that. And then in the mixer, we have the outputs pan hard left and hard right. We're not doing anything in stereo yet, but we will do that here in a second. This is what it sounds like. In the 
Cab X2 paddle, we are using that custom IR that I loaded up. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting here. So one of the ways that you can run this pedal is you can do it with a single input source. So we'll just go ahead and unplug the second input there. So now we have a mono input source and a stereo output source. So we can select two different cabinets and we can change the parameters on each one of those cabinets, and sort of blend them together. If we click the AB button here, we can switch in between the left and the right channels. So we'll go to the blue channel and uh, we still have cabinet one selected, which is that custom IR that we loaded up earlier. <laughs> Now there's a bunch of different stuff we can do here. We can use the high and the low cuts. We can also select a completely different cabinet here. So maybe we want to blend my IR with the rectifier cabinet that is built into the pedal. That would be number seven. <laughs> We also have this latency knob and we can start introducing some delay here. Now, if you're the sole guitar player in your band and you're running to a left and a right channel, you can delay one of those channels and it will sort of thicken up your sound. Let me show you here. Let's plug the other input back in and then we're going to go into the pod HD and start adding effects and I'll show you some of the stuff that we can do running the pedal in stereo. So maybe we want to go in here and we can split our signal chain. So maybe we want to pair something a little bit more mid-ranged with our Bogner Ubershaw. Let's do a JCM 800 here. And one of my favorite JCM models of all time is in the pod HD and that's the Brit 2204. <laughs> Let's go back to our right channel here. Let's pair this with a different cabinet. Let's pair this with the 1960 AG 4x12, which is number six. Now let's blend in that Mesa Oversize IR that we are running the Bogner Ubershaw through. <laughs> cool and another thing we can do here is we can actually run like a wet dry rig so if we wanted to go back into our pod hd here add a reverb and a delay to the side with the marshall on it and so now we have a channel with just the amp sound and a channel with all the effects on it <laughs> blend them together. And so like you can see, there are just a ton of routing possibilities when you run your pedal this way in stereo, and it really just adds to the complexity of things you can do with your rig. But back to the main subject of this video, my main issue with the Pod HD Pro was it just did not have very good cabinet simulation inside of it. And adding an IR loader like this, especially an IR loader that you can load up your own custom IRs with, really solves a lot of that problem. And it really can help you get some more miles out of some gear that you may have written off, like me, with the Pod HD Pro because of its limitations. All right, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Let me know by hitting the like button and leaving me a comment down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.